In this lesson, we are going to look at diffraction grating. Diffraction grating is an extension of double slit experiment, and we use diffraction gratings in spectroscopy. Now let's look at the concept of diffraction grating. Here, as you see, instead of two slits, we have many slits. This is called a diffraction grating. When light is falling on these slits, we have many slits here, and light passing through these slits are going to make an interference pattern on the screen. Now let's look at point P. Uh, what is the point P? Is it going to be a bright point or a dark point? It completely depends on the lights, the path difference of the lights from these uh, slits. Let's look at light from several slits for simplicity. And at point P, it is going to be a bright point if path difference of these lights are equal to lambda. Let's enlarge here and see it better. As you see, we have lights from these slits. They are moving parallel to each other approximately because this, when compared, the when the slit separation is compared with the distance between the slits and the uh, screen, this opening is a very small opening. It is approximately, for example, thousand slits in one millimeter. So it's going to be a really very small distance. This opening is going to be a very small uh, distance. That's why we can assume that these lights are parallel to each other. And as you see, the path difference between these light rays are lambda, 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 lambda. And the uh, slit separation is going to be equal to A. Let's enlarge this one and look at this, only look at this triangle. Now, from this triangle, here is the A and here is the lambda. Then, what is tangent of this angle theta? Tangent theta is going to be equal to sine theta. Why? Because we are using here small angle approximation. And we know that tangent theta is equal to lambda over A. And from here, uh, we can write that lambda is equal to A sine theta. Lambda is the path difference. Delta L is equal to lambda A sine theta. Okay, let's look at for the path difference of two lambda. And light is again incident on the slits. And here we have point P again, but in this case, this is another point. Assume that the path difference for these uh, light rays is two lambda. If we la enlarge it again, it's going to be something like this. Here is the parallel light rays and path difference is two lambda, two lambda, two lambda. So again, if we look at this triangle, we are going to see that this is the A, this is slit separation, and here is the path difference is equal to 2 lambda. So again, we can write tangent theta is equal to sine theta. And for the sine theta, I'm going to write 2 lambda over A. So from here, we can write 2 lambda is equal to A sine theta. Now, if the path difference is equal to 3 lambda, in this case, we will write 3 lambda is equal to A sine theta. So if we generalize our formula, we will write M lambda is equal to A sine theta, where m is equal to 0, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, so on and so forth. The, as you see, this formula is completely the same as the formula in uh, double slit experiment. The only difference here is that uh, A is the slit separation. It is also the slit separation in double slit experiment, but in problems related to diffraction, diffraction grating, uh, A is not uh, usually given directly, but A is given uh, the, the slit, I mean the width, the opening of the uh, grating is given and you need to find the A. A is going to be equal to W over N. W is the width of the grating and number of slits is N. Then dividing them, you can get the slit separation and you can use it in this formula. Now let's solve, uh, no, so, sorry, let's first uh, make a sum summary. Light is incident on uh, the diffracting, diffraction grating, and here on the screen we are going to have uh, bright points, some bright points, and at these points, light from these slits are going to uh, construct each other. At this point, again, they are going to construct each other. Here, 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 they are going to constru construct each other. But in, be in between these points, light is light from the from the slits are going to distract each other, and we will not have um, any brightness. And illumination between these two points. So, uh, assume light is moving, light is passing through these slits, and the angle under which we are going to observe this 
first bright point from the center is going to be theta 1 and the un angle under which the second bright point is going to be observed it is theta 2. Now let's look at the intensity of the light uh, falling on the screen. At the bright spots we will have a high intensity of the light because the light rays from all of the slits are going to reinforce each other at these points. That's why intensity is going to be very high when compared to the distance between the high spots. Here also there is a little uh, light uh, reinforcing each other but it is not observable and only we have high intensity at these bright spots. So this is going to be uh, M0 central maxima. This is going to be first bright this is going to be the second bright. If you have, for example, one more, we will have it uh, m is equal to three, third bright. This is, will be uh, negative one. This will be negative two. And this will be negative three if you have one more here. So in diffracting diffraction gratings, we are going to concentrate only on the bright points, not on the uh, dark fringes. Actually, when we compare the diffracting diffraction grating with the double slit, in double slit experiment, remember, here is the screen. On the screen, we have bands. We have fringes. This is the central bright fringe. Then we have a dark fringe. Then we are having a first bright fringe. This is the central fringe. This is the first bright. We have a dark bright. We have a dark uh, fringe here. And then we have second dark fringe here. As you see, uh, on the other side also we have some bright uh, fringes. So these are the bright fringes. In between them we have dark fringes so there's a widget that are, these are like bands so there is the widget of the bright and dark fringes but for the diffraction grating we will have only bright spots and in our calculations we are going to uh, find the locations of the bright spots or the angle of the bright spots for the location of the bright spots we can use this formula since, since these angles are big angles we are not going to use small angle approximation here and this is the y, the distance of the first bright spot to the center is y1. If you look at the tangent of tangent of theta1, it's going to be equal to y1 over the slit separation is d. Here is the slit separation, not, I'm sorry, not slit separation, but the separation of the screen and the slits. It's d, so we are going to write d. So from here, you can write y1 is equal to d tangent theta1. But generally, you can write ym is equal to d tangent theta m. Let's solve two examples and then finish our lesson. A diffraction grating produces a first order maximum at an angle of 23 degrees. So, uh, for the first order maximum, theta 1 is equal to 23 degrees. Remember here, the f this is theta 1. For the first order maximum, this is 23 degrees. Okay, what is the angle of the second order maximum? We are asked to find theta 2. Now, we know that the formula is A sine theta is equal to m lambda. Let's write it, this formula for the first order maximum. It will be a sine 23 is equal to first order m is equal to 1 times lambda. For the second order maximum, a sine theta 2 equals, it is second order, m will be 2 times lambda. If we divide these two side by side, Lambda and lambda are going to cancel, M, uh, A and A are going to cancel each other. So you can write sine theta 2 equals 2 times sine 23. Sine theta 2 equals 2 times sine 23 is approximately 0 0.39 and this will give us 0 0.78. If you use your calculator, you are going to see that theta 2 is approximately 51 degrees. Okay, next question. A 2 cm wide diffraction grating has 1000 slits. So, width of the grating is 2 cm. It will be 2 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. And number of slits is 1000. It is illuminated by light of wavelength 500 nanometer. What are the angles in degrees of the second and third uh, diffraction orders? Let's first calculate the slit separation. A will be equal to width divided by number of slits. The width is 2 times 10 to the negative 2 meters divided by 10 to the 3 slits. 
this will be equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 5 meter. It's a really small length. Our formula is for diffraction, diffraction grating is a sine theta equals m lambda. Okay, so let's write for the second diffraction order. For the second one, I'm going to write a sine theta 2 equals m lambda. From here, we can write that sine theta 2 equals m lambda over a. And sine theta 2 will be equal to m is 2, second order, times lambda is 500 nanometer. It is 500 times 10 to the negative 9. Divide by slit separation a is equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 5. This will give us 5 times 10 to the negative 2, or 0 0.05. 0 0.05 is sine of which angle? You can go to your calculator, you will see that theta 2 is approximately 2.87 degrees. Now let's look at theta 3, third diffraction order. For theta 3 we can write, we can write, sorry, sine theta 3 equals, again, m, m lambda over a, in this case m is 3, times lambda is 500 times 10 to the negative 9, divide by a is 2 times 10 to the negative 5. After calculations, you will see that this is equal to 0 0.075. So 0 0.075 is sine of which angle? Our calculator gives us approximately 4.3 degrees. Thank you for listening. See you next time.